A look now into the America envisioned by the Tea Party. A home catches fire, firefighters arrive on the scene and watch the place burn down, all because the homeowner did not pay an extra fee. Our number one story, pay to spray, just a preview of what would come in a kind of a la carte government. In a moment, the man victimized by this policy where it's already in effect will speak out. It happened in rural Obian, Obian County in Tennessee. The grandson of Jean and Paulette Cranick was burning trash near the family home when the fire got out of control. The Cranicks called 911 several times, but the fire department would not respond. Why not? Because each year, county residents must pay a $75 fee on top of taxes if they want fire protection from the city of South Fulton, and the Cranicks did not pay. The fire department eventually did show up when the fire spread to the property of a neighbor who did pay the $75 fee. Firefighters put out the blaze on their neighbor's property while the Cranick home continued to burn. South Fulton's Republican mayor, David Crocker, defending what is a 20-year-old policy. Anybody that's not inside the city limits of South Fulton, it's a service that we offer. Either they accept it or they don't. Crocker telling the area newspaper, The Messenger, that if the fire department operated on a per-call basis outside city limits, there would be no incentive for rural county residents to pay the fee. The Messenger reporting that Mr. Crocker likened the policy to auto insurance. As an analogy, he said if an auto owner followed their vehicle or allowed their vehicle insurance to lapse, they would not expect an insurance company to pay for an unprotected vehicle after it was wrecked. In Obion County, three out of eight municipal fire departments require a subscription fee. Two of those fire departments, including South Fulton, state they will not respond without payment, while the Kenton Fire Department puts itself down as a maybe. Meanwhile, the county commission's latest report on its fire services applauds the county's progressive credentials. Fire service is without question a basic life, property-saving emergency service. It is no less important than law enforcement, rescue, and emergency medical services. Joining me now is promised, Gene Cranick, whose home burned down as a result of this pay-as-you-go policy. Uh, Mr. Cranick, thanks for some of your time tonight under these circumstances, and allow me to express our regret here over the loss of your home. Thank you. Uh, thankfully, your family is okay, but you're now reduced to living on a trailer on that property there, as I understand it. Can you tell us what was lost in the fire? Everything that we possessed was lost in the fire. Uh, even, uh, three dogs yeah. and a cat that belonged to my grandchildren yeah. was lost in it. And they could have been saved if they had been they put water on it, but they didn't do it, so when, that's, when that's you, just a loss. When you all called uh, 911, as I understand it, you told the operator you'd pay whatever was necessary to have the firefighters come out and, and, and prevent the fire from spreading to your house. What was their response? I, that we wasn't on their list. Mm. And th what did they say when they finally got there and finally started to, to, to work on the flames because they had spread to the to the adjoining property? What what did the, the firefighters say to you? Did they were they sorry about this? Would they express any regret? They put water out on the the fence line out here. They never said nothing to me. Mm. Never acknowledged they stood out here and watched it burn. So if your if your if your neighbors hadn't paid either, and the and the and the flames had jumped to their house, that would have burned down too. I mean, if nobody out there had paid, we would have had the entire rural community on fire. It was just it was in a cornfield they had already yeah. harvested, and they had a tractor and a disc out here. It doesn't have the flame contained in the field, and the man that owned the field told them to put the water on the house. Yeah. And they said they couldn't do it because it wasn't on the list. Has the fire department, to your knowledge, ever made an exception to this rule? Yes, they have. Back when we had a real fire chief, boy, he had enough gall about him that he could do he would do things. About three years ago, mm. uh, in December, this December, uh, had the fire up here in my boy's house, and they waive the fee till the next day. But we done had the thing out before they got there, yeah. which don't make any difference, but they still waive the fee till the next day, and I went in and paid it. Have uh, have other, other houses in the, in the area burned down while the fire department watched because people hadn't paid the fee? Uh, yes, sir. Mm. They let, as far as my, I know for sure, they let three, and I heard of four. And then on the other side of Union City in the community, they let a, a barn burn that had horses in it. Mm. So I don't know what about that. 
Is uh, is your so, ins is your insurance going to help at all on this? My insurance is. I talked to yesterday, and they're going to they right on the ball. So, the insurance is going to pay for, oh. for what I, money I had on the policy. Looks like. Well, at least because, it, yeah. But it's like everything else. I didn't have enough. Oh goodness. Gene Cranick, I, I don't know what else to say other than we appreciate your taking the time to explain this to us. And uh, again, well, our, 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 our sympathy on what happened. It's unbelievable. I'd like to say one more thing. Please. If I can. Yes. The mayor up here said I refused to pay. I did not refuse to pay. I told him I would pay whatever it took. But I had forgot this mm. thing. And I know people don't think you forget things like that, but you do. Yep. And this so happened that I forgot it, and I had to suffer the consequences for it. So, yeah. Well, you, that's, you, you paid your taxes. One would think it would be covered in that. I'm sorry to, to, to end the interview on that note, but, but Gene Cranick, I thank you for, for talking with us. All right, thank you. Thank you. Keith Olbermann, good night and good luck. And to discuss now the emerging threat to America's water supply thanks to fracking. And if you don't know what that is, she'll explain what fracking is. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Rachel Nomato. Good evening, Rachel. Good evening, Keith. That was an unbelievable interview. Just an incredible story, an incredible interview. Unforgivable. Yeah, amazing. Yeah. Thank you, Keith. Thanks.